I want to talk about Martel. So Martel and Sheree. Martel and Sheree, as you know, we reported that they were spotted for filming for the Real Housewives of Atlanta. The first group event happened on the week over the weekend uh, at uh, Sonia Richards Ross's birthday celebration for her husband Ross. So they were spotted there. Everyone looked great. Everyone looked great. Um, and Kenya looked really, really, really pr pretty. Um, Sheree, of course, looked really beautiful. I don't know about Martel. I don't know about that look. I don't know about that outfit. It was Great Gatsby inspired. So Martel is being put on blast yet again. As you know, Martel, if you don't know who Martel is, he's from Love and Marriage Huntsville. Sidebar, for all that hype and all that all that fighting, how much what were their ratings? Hold on. Let me get let me show you the ratings. 490 something thousand for their ratings this week. For all that hype. Carlos King thought that he was going to get, he was going to get a million again. So Love and Marriage Huntsville had a 0.112, to 12, well, 0.12, there we go, demo, and 494,000 viewers tie season high in demo. I guess that fight wasn't fighting the way that they thought. Okay, some of you think I don't like Carlos King. I don't know Carlos King like that. I've interviewed Carlos King years ago on the Kempai Radio YouTube channel. So it's not personal. It's just all the stuff that we continuously see. Just saying. So 494,000 viewers for the uh, last episode of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Back to, to Martel and Sheree. So as you know, if you watch Love and Marriage Huntsville, the whole story for Martel is the fact that he cheated on Melanie. Melody, there we go. He cheated on Melody with a young woman that has been lovingly called Coleslaw. Her name is Ariane Curry. She has taken to social media again to blast him after this photo of him hanging out in Atlanta with his new boo, in quotations. She's taken to social media to blast him. And this is what she's saying on her social media. Uh, and for those that are wondering, this is Ariane. And they have a baby together. They have a baby together. And this, is, this wasn't the first time that she was pregnant by him either. All right? And he was married when she, when she had a baby with him. So she went to social media and posted these receipts. Not receipts, but, you know, her thoughts, okay, on her Instagram story. All right? <sighs> so the first one, shout out to our friends at, at on site. She, the first one she posed, got back in town, stressed, I ain't answering, we about to start doing ish in real time. I let his first show play me so hard. By the time I, I caught on two years into the ish, they had me, they had made up so many lies about me. I looked crazy defending myself. Never again. Y'all, they had me and still got me effed up. He has called 15 times claiming he looking for Knox and emailed um, as well. By the way, wasn't concerned about him this weekend. So she posts all the times that he called. Then in another Instagram story, she says, pops up talking about where my son, I'm in the house trying to hide like I'm not home. I just didn't feel like his BS. This man really got, got out that lady bed and drove straight to my house from Atlanta. He's so slick, he hides he car and walks to the backyard whole time. I'm thinking he gone. Next thing I know he's banging on the back door talking about, ha ha ha. I see you trying to hide. I, <laughs> I <can't. laughs> What a ghetto mess this is. <laughs> okay. Um, then, he, then he says, uh, then she says, uh, I get knocked ready, ready, sit him outside in the front with his bag and, and car seat and what he tell me i'm gonna come back and get him when i get get my other kids but i thought you wanted your son so bad yeah right oh damn so coleslaw continues <laughs> she posts some more more information okay some more messages all right so she says now he's sorry inspector gadget really tried it today as you can see behind everything. 
They people really communicate via email that's not business related. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's a form of communication, but I'm just like, oh, not when you got someone's number, but if you can't get someone on the phone, okay. She says, this has been my life for years now. Y'all see y'all seeing my some bull ish on TV. Then he shows more calls. I guess he's calling her blocked. Okay. She's like, crazy, right? I didn't bother him all weekend. I never do. I let him party at the chateau. Sad. Not at the chateau. Ariane, do you want us to feel sorry for you for having a baby with a married man and a man that has showed you what he's done to a woman that he's been with how many years and, and was married to? We're supposed to feel sorry for you? Did you think that he was going to magically change that you were the one? That he was going to change his behavior? Magically? So excuse me, we already knew Martel was trash. <laughs> so we're not surprised at his behavior. And the fact that you really believe that this sh charade relationship is real, <laughs> and getting in your feelings and coming on social media in real time. No one feels sorry for you. You know who we feel sorry for? All the children involved that have to deal with these mess of a parents. So it, it says to me that Martel and Ariane are still smashing. <laughs> and she's in her feelings about it. And apparently he's in his feelings about it as well. Martel, just tell her, no, this is not real. But he's probably scared to tell Coleslaw that it's not real because he knows that she'll go to social media and tell all of us. And then we'll report on it. But we already know that the Sheree storyline is not real. And more than likely, we will see Martel on this new season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta. But I think a lot of it, I mean, bravo, truly original. If you don't want your ratings to, to sink... You might want to rethink this whole situation. It's not too late. It's not too late. Sheree, pivot. Something else. <sighs> oh, Michael, my, oh, Michael says, oh. He says, she ain't all there, baby. Don't go too hard. I'm trying to give her some helpful advice, though. I'm trying to give Ariane some helpful advice. Stop giving this man your attention. Stop giving him your time. You have a baby with him. Try to co-parent with him. Stop sleeping with him. Because it's very clear to me, you're not going on social media if you if if you are um are 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 no longer with him. All right, <laughs> Esther says, "Is loving <laughs> loving wait is loving hip hop Atlanta still hiring because they are perfect?" Gene says, "I don't need Martell on two channels." I agree. I don't need him on one channel. I don't even need him on Love and Marriage Huntsville. 